hyper-aggressive offense that Cole is known well, for. And Leo knows a thing or two. I think right now they're sporting an 0-7 head-to-head. Leo favored, yeah. but Cola can be explosive, as you said. And if all of the all of the cards come out in Cola's favor, if everything lines up just right, we will see a very different head-to-head -head after today, Koopa. Right now, already Cola on the offensive, keeping Leo at the ledge. Yeah, again, you're rocking with the Roy here. There are a couple characters in Cola's arsenal, but primarily known for the Roy. And again, you're going to be able to get right in that wheelhouse, do a lot of damage early. But however, the Batman is almost on deck, AG. The Arsen is the ultimate X Factor in this game. And already, Leo's going to get an early one here, going to have an opportunity to close the gap. Right. It's going to be hard, though, if you can't get out from that spot. Double Edge Dance is pretty dangerous, but Arsen coming out. And already, Cola definitely changing the pace a little bit, being a little more careful. And you have to be, because look at that kill power. Already taking the stock. What a response from Leo. Yeah, DI in probably to avoid maybe a back air uh, of some sort, but the up air is going to be enough to get the KO. And now Leo going to get a little bit more extra credit oh. off that 39% already off two back airs. Oh. Gets the counter. Is that going to be it? Oh yes, sir, it is. Go two quick stocks for MK Leo. Koopa, what are, what's going on? That was just back to back hits. Not a single misstep from Leo. And what a statement after a shaky five seconds. It's been a minute straight of the Leo show. Mama! There goes that man again, MK Leo, making quick work of that first game against Cola. I was going to say, nobody beats Cola eight games in a row. I don't know, man. That first game was looking mighty dominant. It's very, very tough. But as we talked about, that momentum is so very important. And Cola had it a little bit, but the bad man showed up, and it changed the pace drastically. All of a sudden, Leo fired back and utilized that little bit of time spectacularly, right? Those three back hairs were such a good way to use that little bit of the meter that was left. And we have to go right back into it. Game two here on Town and City. And again, man, now I heard of front rumblings that MK Leo played one game of Violet today, lost, and has been on Joker since. <laughs> so the man is clearly here on a mission, and the wheels came off quickly there for Cola. So you know, hopefully he's able to right the ship a little bit after starting off uh, relatively strong in that first game. So we'll see how the response is here on town and city. Yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. I think this extra real estate can help. We saw a couple up specials from Cola to try and get out of some of those close quarters situations. Possibly a little bit more room to run away when the RSN meter comes out. And Leo getting hit oh, with the oh, down air to forward oh, smash. <laughs> yeah, the Wings of Rebellion, as great as a recovery as it is, it does leave you susceptible to two frames. And we've seen Cola really you know, go for that down air forward smash in the past. And it's cool every time, man. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> no, it's still so very sick to watch. Now, Leo having to work with this deficit here is a very different game here. We're going to see the neutral air to approach. And big response here from Cola, though. Those forward airs are racking up the damage. Damage, and the platforms are so scary for the both of them. Yeah, I was going to say, if he was going to be able to, you saw him delay that double edge dance, maybe trying to get Leo to drop shield on the platform there, but Leo smartly was holding on to the, that uh, trigger button. And now Arsene back in the mix. All it's going to take is a sw stiff breeze in the corner to possibly take the stock from Cola, but Cola not giving up center stage just yet. All right, forward air going to open it up. Down guns, though. Wow. What a move in that situation. Going to mess up that recovery just a little bit. Cola falling a little bit short. Back to two stocks apiece here. And Arsene's not going to be around for much longer. So Leo's going to have to try and make something happen. But Cola makes oh. short work of it. I was going to say, the taxi platform coming in right there could have led for some uh, awkward uh, choice in, in uh, tech there for Leo. But there we go, the jab to the back air. That's going to clean things up for Cola. Nice uh, lead right now. Two stocks, sub 25%, exactly where you want to be in this game, too. Right, right. And really good stuff from Cola, taking those small opportunities and getting some big punishes right now. Arsene is going to be huge for Leo to try and get this comeback going right here. The throw combos are going to be a lot of damage, especially when you get them back to back. Set up for the edge guard here. It's going to be tough, but Cola does make it back. You see him go for the downer there, then having to commit to the up B. So giving Cola an opportunity to try to stop him at the ledge. Gets the down air to the up smash. The tried and true chicken fingers at the diner, AG. It's good no matter what. That's going to get MK Leo back within a stock here. All right, and that meter is going to go just as Cola loses that invincibility. 84% is rough. Like we said, those double edge dances at the ledge are so dangerous. And the platform configuration kind of works out a little bit for Cola here, too. The jab in the back air, another one from Cola. And what a response after that game one. Cola looking pretty comfortable going into game three. Yeah, no, that's exactly the sort of response you like to look for when somebody, you know, not just loses the game. The fashion of how the wheels fell off in that first game was quick. So you kind of wonder, man, is, is uh, Cola going to be able to respond? You saw about a down air oh, to the forward smash. He responded uh, quite well there. I actually, so. I want to go back. There's a pretty interesting situation here, too, because we actually see, sorry, sorry. I, I, I got too excited, but you can see a little bit 
of a little tech animation there, and then the forward smash. Very. We'll, we'll get back to it later. Right now, we're already going right into the next game, going back to a Pokemon Stadium to start it off. Really good counter pick from Leia. Worked wonders in game one. A little bit tighter. Maybe Cola kind of scrambles in those close quarter situations again, like we saw earlier. Yeah, I think the platform lane also helps too. Wow, okay, nice wait there. The second time there from Cola to be able to convert. But now Arsene, Ooh. possibly back in the favor here. Okay. Not going to get the uh, KO he's looking for, but 83% on MK Leo. Half a meter of Arsene down. Is he going to be able to swing his way out of this one? That's going to be tough. Cola's playing pretty well right now, kind of throwing the aerials, dashing out, baiting an option from Leo. Not really getting hit too often. As I say that, though, getting hit with a couple of big, important ones, too. Leo, though, missing the up smash, and Cola responding very well. All right. Has escaped Arsene for the time being. That's 107 on the tab of MK Leo, just Cola. So one solid conversion in the corner could be enough to get him on the board here. But Leo, you know, doing what the Joker does best, and that's be evasive. Gets that uh, down air to set up and gets a parry grab. Now gonna be able to reset here in the corner. Yeah, the parry was huge to get that opening. Cola going for the up angled for that last hit. Gonna be the jab to back here, but not the sweetest spot. Gonna get an extra chance here. See if Leo can make something happen. Jump in from ledge. The gun's a really good way to get out of that corner right there. Yeah, the old-fashioned bringing a sword to a gunfight. Plays <laughs> <Right. laughs> here too. Gets the trade. Interesting, uh, the right angle right there, which everybody kind of <laughs> went at. But Leo gonna get KO'd off the top. Gonna get Cola on the board here. But 145 gonna have to really, you know, milk some extra credit out of this stock. Right, it's gonna be kind of tough for Leo to make something happen here after Cola got that center stage. But these throws are important. We're looking for the back air here, or possibly an edge guard. I think that's how Leo is gonna take this stock off. But a little bit of a mix up on the platform it's gonna be tough to get back here and there is that throw i love that from leo the old tri-state twister yep the excellent subject from leo again only taking less than 20 percent on that second stock so definitely within arm's reach here and arsen about 75 percent of the way there so definitely going to be a factor here in the second stock Ooh. There we go. Now doing what Joker does best, and that is keep you at bay. And Kaleo has been doing this to people for years. He's so good in the corner, but Cola able to escape. Right. Back to center stage here. Good opening for Leo, but the spot dodges have really been working out for Cola. Very well timed. Arsene, though, such a timely appearance. Cola already kind of panicking a little bit, trying to get out of that situation with the up special. But that trade is good. Gives Cola some room to breathe. Takes center stage back with some really well timed aerials and keeping the combo up. There you go, now it's Ooh. in the corner, and Mei Leo rolls through, gets the down air, but not in the position to get the up smash follow up, Cole taking on the platform. Oh. Bad situation to be there of your MK Leo, but able to escape without dropping that sock. The back will connect. Cola up two socks to one. Looking to so seal out the rubber game here in game three. Yeah, this is a very important game, of course. We have the counter picks to worry about. Even just having that extra game up is so, so important, especially for that momentum that we talked about before. And Cola knows it. Definitely kind of changing the pace right now. Taking it slow. Good approach, though, with that reverse up air. And then only going for a few hits here and there. Nothing too committal. Yeah, we've seen Cola been doing that conditioning a lot where he just goes for a couple hits at that double edge dance. You know, still does enough shield stun to kind of make MKL have to guess. Good parry off to immediate Arsene. That was incredible too. Like knowing that the Arsene was going to pop out and still getting that parry timing is pretty tight window. Good stuff from Cola playing wonderfully right now, even on the defense, which is so very important here. Oh my god, so tense. The up special finally connects for Cola though. Yeah, and there we go, gets the soft hit of the back air there. Now has avoided, uh, once again, Arsene. Goes for the upward hit of that double edge dance. The forward hit probably would have been enough to get the KO, possibly. It's possible, but I, I definitely trust Cola here. Going for that vertical pressure, which has been working out in terms of racking up that damage. You might want to just get to the spot where the up tilt will do it. And another trade and another game for Cola going up 2-1 against Leo. Like I said, nobody beats Cola. Eight sets in a row, AG. It's, he's, he's tapped in right now. You see Leo, you know, kind of thinking things over. We've heard the tale, tried and true again. The music is playing. He is the horror, the monster at the end of the horror movie. Game four, MK Leo. We've, you know, we've told the story. So, so you know, the tale is almost time. Right, as right. one would say. So, you know, we go with the superhero motif. Is there ever the time to power up? It's going to be now for MK Leo's head to a game five. I thought it's Cola advancing on in a winner's bracket. Yeah, one thing that Leo really does is utilize all of that time in the set for those adaptations and for the sort of reading the habits of players and then implementing it all when it matters the most. Already, though, about even game here, all things considered, because one opening and Cola can bring it right back. We've seen it so many times before. Yeah, both these guys, the entirety of the set, have been doing a great job capitalizing on whenever they get those punish opportunities. Both these characters, very strong up close, a great combo game at, at, at any percent. So, 
But right now it is MK Leo in the driver's seat for the time being. That was such an ambitious jump from the ledge for Cola, but it actually worked out to jump in the air dodge in. Big swing right there. Leo going to get a good punish, but no huge kill power from that angle. So Cola going to hold on for a little bit longer. And I love that nair from the ledge. That's been effective for him the entirety of the set so far, AG. That nair is so solid when you're able to get both hits down. Right. Good. Gorita have the jump right there from Cola. Oh. Ooh, okay. MK Leo able to fight through that neutral B with Joker's forward air. They're going to reach you to ledge there. There it is. Leo throwing out a couple of forward airs, trying to stuff out the approach. Finally gets one after the third try. Good pressure there. The back air forcing the dodge and the forward token is set up for the edge guard, but the counter misses. Very dangerous spot for Leo. The jabs are coming out, and it's so scary. Arsene just taking his leave right there. Now Cola keeping that pressure up. <laughs> My work here is done. <laughs> yeah. I didn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> okay, Leo trying to get off the ledge here, using the gun as coverage. That air dodge going unpunished to down air. You don't need no uh, Arsene there. That's going to be enough to KO Cola. So MK Leo getting on the board first here in game four. All right, see if Cola can bring it back, though. It's going to be hard for Leo to do too much right now. You have to be a little, well, very careful at 109. Cola already looking for some big hits right now. Big opening for Leo, though. It's going to be a lot of damage from that grab. And the guns keeping it going, too. And what an uh -oh. edge guard. Nice stuff there from Leo. Continuing to apply this pressure. Getting a lot of extra credit out of this stock. Ooh. See Cola within the grab, but no punish. Such a good idea, too. I love the empty hop and the turnaround grab, too. Nair from ledge getting shielded. This time, Leo's catching on, and the guns, still something Cole's got to worry about. Going to set up for another edge guard with that grab. Going for a little <laughs> bit too much, though. Ooh. All right, Eftel going to connect right there. Now Cole going to get another opportunity at this ledge trap. Ooh, okay, get up attack. Going to go through the jab. And MK Leo just being very loose with his movement right now. Goes for the upward hit of the double edge dance again. Ooh, okay, interesting idea, but those up specials are costing Cola right now. This is a big change of pace from that game that we saw previously. Cola working with a lead in that last game, and now down 3-1 to one against Leo with another R set on this stock is not what the Cola fans were looking for, and Leo's trying to make it even worse right now. No, again, getting a lot of mileage out of our set right here. The damage is starting to increase. The whole oh, goes for the <laughs> F-Smash, trying to set a statement right there. Gonna come up short. Cole okay. finally going to get on the board here, but 79% AG, two socks to go. He's going to have to pull, pitch a perfect game here. Right, and we have a couple of Arsens to worry about too, so they're going to have to be some quick stocks if Cola does want to take the set right now. But like I said, Leo finally getting all that information, now shielding those nares from the ledge. Not really working out so well for Cola as they have previously. It's looking a little rough right now, but Cola's putting it together still, not taking too much damage and racking up those hits, even if it is little by little. Ooh. Okay, and he gets the uh, reverse hit up air into a back air. Oh, oh, gets it down there, but not in position to get the F map. Gets the ledge trump though, the back air. Still not going to be enough to get the KO. All right, going to make it back to the ledge. A big jump on, and the dodge misses the double edge dance. Leo on the offensive, but an up angle double edge dance. Very good stuff. Big forward air for Leo to open up the stage. It's going to be tough to get back, especially with that counter, and Leo brings it to game five. As we've seen time and time again, AG, like you said, a, an MK Leo, a machine constantly studying you, adjusting on the fly. You see the crowd start to kind of come to life here as they know what's at stake here. MK Leo being sent to game five. His first game five of the tournament so far. We're looking at, as you can see, some of the highlights here. That up B going to get punished immediately by the RSM back air. That move is, dare I say, pretty good. And there's a pretty interesting thing here, too, because Roy's, I think, like this stage for that kind of interaction. If you do the blazer from the ledge, for example, you land at a pretty good spot on the Pokemon Stadium platforms. If you do from center stage, it's kind of the same thing. But if you get too used to it and the opponent knows you're going to do it, they can start to punish, yeah. and especially with Arsene, the punish is pretty explosive as well. But can't let that phase you. You got to keep it moving and keep it moving right onto Smashville for game five. I like the counter pick, trying to keep it close together. And you still do get that platform for that interaction that we mentioned previously. Kind of a rough song for game five. I'm going to keep it a stack. Yeah. But hey, so we have reached the final chapter of this edition of the comic book. Let's see who's going to come out on top here, move on in the winner's bracket. So Farcola off to a strong start. Yeah, this is pretty important too, as we talked about the momentum being so important for Cola, especially once Arsene pops up, you have to be very careful because Leo can respond so very well. That side's, oh, oh, okay. oh my gosh. <laughs> that could have been disastrous from both sides there, but Cola able to swing his way back down, gets the up air, and what's just the shades of game one, AG. Cola goes off to a strong start and some rough DI on an Arsene up air. That's gonna set, put Cola down a deficit.
Yeah, it's so hard too, especially with a little bit of a mix-up. Big aerial though from Cola to open up the stage, see if we can make something happen here. Leo gonna make it back to the ledge. Double edge dance, of course, has been working out for Cola. Not necessarily going for just the regular angle, usually up angle for some more damage, but gonna have to make something happen here. Leo already putting 63 on the second stock. All right, there you go to dash that. Gonna continue to extend his lead here. Ooh, his percentage getting a little scary here. If your Cola gets the parry, not gonna get the strong hit of back air. All right, gonna make it back one more time, and that's a huge counter. So much meter. The throw is gonna set up for a possible follow up, or at least put Leo to the ledge. But that's a, such a big neutral air with Arsene helping out. Gonna be hard to kind of respond to that, but there is it, that up special. And Still not taking the stock. Oh, there we go. Man. Drop zone fair. Gonna get the job done for Cola. 90% on the tab and no arson to worry about for the time being, so definitely plenty of time to make a comeback here. Okay, those up guns, or down guns got punished with the up air rather from Cola. Good stuff to follow Leo onto the platform and follow him off stage right now too. A lot of pressure coming in from Cola despite the deficit. Big jab into the oh, double edge dance. Oh, 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 mercy! What a response, what a pickup. The crowd is waking up for Cola. Up two stocks to one right now and Leo's gonna have to make something happen, but Cola gets out. There you go, gets a parry right there. This could be Cola's time to shine. That's not gonna buy MK Leo some time here. Go for the edge guard, but immediately back to the ledge. And again, respecting the mayor at the ledge. That has not worked uh, just yet for Cola here. Just enough time to get back. Right, another tough spot. Down gun should be able to seal the deal, but the down air definitely will. What a message. The crowd is waking up. Leo brings it down to the wire here in game five. Game five, last stock, MK Leo with the early percentage here. Gets that single hit of there. But here we go, gets the drag down, and MK Leo continue to go to work here. Yeah, definitely picking up on all of those habits too, waiting out the spot dodge, but Cola responding so well. Huge combo, big damage, but Arsene is out. Gonna have to try and slow it down. Can't go for anything too wild. Leo's ready to punish, but forward throw. Good way to get that center stage, see if we can make something happen. Gets a new Darsen neutral air, hits both hits, gets the drag down, and oh, looking for an air dodge, not gonna get it. And that's that Nair from ledge finally getting punished with the grab and looking for the back air. Leo is waiting for the air dodge. Bacola on the offensive. Leo uh -oh. stuck at the ledge. Very dangerous spot. No arson. What is Leo going to do? Get grabbed, it turns out. So tense right now. There you go. Cola sets up shot. Goes for the jab. Not going to get it, but the up air will connect. Oh, the drag oh, down. down. The tech chase misses the follow up with the up air, but gets the center stage with the back air. Looking for it all with that follow up with the trump. What is going on, Koopa? Every oh, oh, the back, back air connects. Yes, sir. Cola has written the final chapter of this edition. Gets his first set win over MK Leo, and will move on in winner's side. MK Leo being sent to the Shark Tank, the multiverse of, of top players in the loser's bracket right now. Cola, you see the pop off right there. Gonna be moving on. The team, the team hero, team kill, you hate to see it, but man, what a great game five set, AG. Unbelievable way to start off top 32, and like you said it, no one beats Cola eight times in a row. <laughs> yes, sir. That is exactly what I expected today. Basically, the unexpected. You don't know what's gonna happen here. Every day's a new one. And this is already starting out to be a wild one. What yeah. a photo finish, too. I was still so worried down to the wire. A scramble after scramble. Close call after close call. Leo had that drag down into the forward air. The tech chase possibility on the platform of the up air. <laughs> so sick. So many things and worked you know, out. And you know the X Factor for the set, HG, we talked about it before when uh, Cola was down in that game four. Even the net, some of these early kills that we've seen from Roy in the past, that second stock, MK Leo 71% after the hit, after the double edge dance. Right. So being able to net a KO that uh, at that early of a percent, you know, that really makes a difference. And we see great handoff on the fist bump right there. Yeah. Great form. Uh, strong, strong fist bump. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. I'm going to need to open his eyes to do it. Right, right. You know, it's it it kind of like system. added respect almost. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. I'll give it up. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. These guys have played some great sets over the years. For sure. So, for sure. again, you love to see Cola, you know, get over the hump to finally, you know, break through the plateau. That's it. Again, probably something he's been thinking about this weekend. Probably thought about it all last night as Definitely. well, I'm sure. And, uh, again, it's a great guy, too. Cola's one of my favorite players. For sure. So, uh, we love to see it.